Hi everyone, welcome to TV1 Business Bureau where you're going to get yourselves updated with the latest trendy business news and also we're going to talk to an amazing business personality for you to learn experience and also to get some secrets out of that great personality. So why wait, let's get to know that amazing business personality. Today we have a fantastic personality. I'm sure you're going to learn a lot of things and also experience a lot of things with this amazing business leader. Today we're going to speak to Mr. Bimala Sundara who is the Managing Director of Hotel Janaki. He's going to share his journey and how he overcame his challenges and also he will share some tips for you to become successful as well. Today we have a fantastic business leader, a great entrepreneur with us and I'm sure you're going to experience a lot of things and learn a lot of things with this amazing business personality. Mrs. Sarath Vimala Sundara is an amazing business personality and I'm sure today is going to be a fantastic conversation for us to learn from the Managing Director of Hotel Janaki. Something interesting that I heard was that when we see a family with four or five children, we say it's a big family. But looking at your family, you have ten siblings. Let's talk about your family. Certainly. I'm the eldest in the family. And uh, I have uh, three boys and uh, seven girls all together. And uh, so I have, I have been looking after them you know, right throughout, you know. And uh, so my parents used to get a lot of work from me in looking after them. And, uh, seven, so ten children is a massive... Uh, <laughs> a, a huge a family. Huge family to take care of and all that. And that's how uh, it went, you know. So Mr. Bimal Sundara, from smaller days itself, you might have been a leader leading nine siblings. Yes, yeah, That's great. So, I would like to get to know what was your most unforgettable moment in your family? Uh, in the sense when, when I when was young. Small, yes. When I was young. You know, my father was a terror. You know. He was a, a very strict man. And uh, so, you know, he used to, so I had to obey him. All what he wanted was, you know, to do the correct type of work. You know. And, uh, and uh, you know, so I, being the eldest in the family, I had to manage all the affairs in the house as well. And that's so fantastic. That's, yes. So, your father, you said he was a terror because he wanted everything in order and perfectly. I think that's the reason that you have a beautiful hotel here and a successful business. So let's talk about your business life and also the journey of your success story. Yes. My primary education was at St. Thomas's Prep School and after the fifth standard I entered Ananda College and uh, from there I came up to the university advanced level and after that I joined the audit firm and worked as an audit assistant. And uh, there I learned my accountancy. And uh, so I was working for there for some time and then uh, my father wanted me to look after the estates. And then I had, a, I had to go and get myself trained as a creeper in the estate. Uh, that's how life began uh, as, uh, a as a business, as a beginner. And also I would like to ask, uh, what made you come to the hospitality industry? What made you to start a hotel? Yes, uh, this building was uh, in the cons uh, construction stage and uh, uh, they had the non conference in 1976. At that time they were short of rooms for the delegates and the guests. So we were, the, the tourist board wanted us to 
uh, whether we, they, they wanted us to know whether we are willing to convert this at a hotel. And uh, so he said, yes, certainly. And then we went in and we got the approvals. And we got the tax holiday and then started this play hotel. We did, we did a lot of uh, renovations. Because at that time it was not rooms, it was apartments. This building was for apartments and we converted this to bedrooms. Then the restaurants and the bar and the other facilities. So that's how it began. When you're young, many people come and ask you, what's your ambition? What's your dream? When you were young or when you were in your, uh, when you were a young boy, what was your ambition and what was your dream? My dream was to become an engineer. That was my dream, but I couldn't uh, do that because my father wanted to, wanted to uh, take up this his business. And uh, so that is when he, he wants me to go abroad also. So I had to stay here and look after his uh, business uh, empire. So from young days itself you knew that you are going to be the leader who is going to take over the business and run? Yes, since I was the eldest, I had to take over the business because others were small at that time. So I entered business in 1975 and uh, came up and then this was uh, converted to a hotel and that's how uh, this hotel came up and after my father's death I have uh, done a lot of modifications. We have added a pool and banquet halls, uh, then the laundry, and the coffee shops. All that was uh, something that was added recent uh, after my father's death. There's a saying that success is not a destination but a journey. You have proved that. You have achieved one destination, looked at the destination and kept on flying to other destinations, becoming successful again and again and again. So what's the secret behind of your success story? Se secret is, you know, you have to be very active. And uh, very active and then you have to be very uh, you know, cordial with the people, and smiling and that's how you uh, have to welcome the guests. So those things were there with me. And uh, that was the reason for, for the success of the hotel, I believe. That's fantastic. So if you want to be successful, make sure that you are humble and that you're active and ready to be successful. And also make sure that you be very friendly with everyone and also smile which will bring a smile on others' faces as well. In any industry, people face many challenges. So when you started this hotel, what were the challenges you faced? The main challenge was uh, to bring up to that standard. That was the uh, challenge because this was new to us. And uh, I had some, uh, you know, I had to attend the tourist hotel school and get some information and I attended classes also to gain knowledge in running a hotel. So this, since this was new and uh, I had to entrust several people, get told of several people to recruit staff and uh, train them because it was, uh, you, you couldn't get trained staff at that time and uh, that was the time where we, didn't, we were not allowed to import anything during Mrs. Bandarnaika's uh, government. So it was the, that was the biggest challenge that I had and then I managed to get through all that. You're now successful. You have faced many challenges, but you have overcome all those challenges. So how did you overcome those challenges? Future plans, uh, I, my future plans are it develop this place. Yeah, there's so much to develop. This is a gold mine, I should say. Uh, so many hotels have come up now, and then not the class that we are having. We, we cater to the middle class. Where we, uh, our rates are low, and services are there. But we give the, uh, the the maximum service in the sense that you get in a five-star hotel. We give them cable TV, the free mini fridges and then the 
laundry, the mini bars, everything that you get in a five star we have. We have. That's how it is. Because yes. when you look at uh, the hotel industry, there's a huge competition. Yes. So how do you really face this competition and how do you still keep running and stand, standing strong? Then mainly uh, that because of the service, you know, and service we give and this is a homely service that we give unlike in a hotel. Here my family is there, my sister, uh, all the people, they are around me to help me out uh, on various fields and then uh, it is the, the homely uh, atmosphere that we give to them. So that is why they like that place. Mr. Vimala Sundara, your father was a man with a vision and a man with a master plan. So let's talk about your father. Uh, he, you know, he put up this building to, uh, for the children with uh, 20 apartments uh, where, where one, could stay, one could stay and one give, given on rent so that they could get an income. And uh, so that's how, I mean, he thought about it, you know, so that, I mean, since my, all my sisters were married for, to professionals, you know, they get a limited income. And uh, so this income, you know, by giving one, uh, the, one apartment on rent would would, uh, would help them in their financial uh, affairs. So that's uh, how he thought. And then when we got this idea of uh, converting this to a hotel, uh, we took it up, you know. We, uh, we managed to get all the approvals and then uh, it, it was really, it was gasseted as a tax-free uh, hotel. Uh, so all the facilities were given by the government since they didn't have any rooms for the non-aligned delegates. And uh, so we, we, we did a lot of modifications. We had to convert the, uh, you know, the apartment to rooms and every room had, had to have a toilet. So those things had to be done. So we took we did a lot of modifications and uh, in this uh, hotel. And uh, so after my father's death, I did a lot of improvements. Uh, mainly, uh, we did the pool and uh, uh, the banquet halls were done. We, 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 I put up uh, another floor to accommodate the banquet halls. And uh, we, did, we had a coffee shop, we put up a coffee shop and the laundry. So we had some more to uh, go in. It's really nice to see how you said yes to lead this wonderful hotel and how you started improving it. And today you're leading this uh, beautiful hotel. So what is the advice you would like to give to our youth and our entrepreneurs? Uh, entrepreneurs, of course, uh, there's a lot of scope in this field, I should say. But so many hotels have come up, so many five stars, but not this class, you know, for, to cater to the middle class. That is a must. Uh, you know, people, middle class people come in and they don't uh, now, they are coming in and uh, to, uh, I mean, to stay in houses also. Houses are being uh, converted into uh, guest houses. So, the best thing is to, for, for the new, new newcomers to build some places where the middle class can, can uh, uh, you know, can uh, find uh, accommodation. In Sri Lanka, there are many hotels. So what's the speciality of Hotel Janaki? Now, our speciality is, uh, you know, the food, the, uh, as well as accommodation. Food in the sense now we cater to we cater to Eastern, Western, and Chinese. Also for corporate seminars for corporate clients. There there are residential seminars here. People come and stay, and then they have their food, and then they enter, they enter the seminars. Their seminars are, are being held in, in our banquet halls. So those are the special things that we offer. Business is something very important. Becoming successful in the business industry is something amazing. But looking at you, you are successful in the business 
industry as well. Not only that, you are successful in your family life as well. You balance your family life well and it's amazing to see the unity and the smile on your face when we talk about family. So let's talk about your children and your family life. Yeah, I have uh, uh, four children, three boys and a girl. So, uh, all, all the boys are educated in the UK and uh, uh, one was uh, employed in Australia, the other one was in, employed in UK, the, the third one has come down and he's here in Sri Lanka. Uh, the girl is in Australia, uh, she is uh, expecting a child now and uh, my, my wife has gone to for the confinement. I heard from your sisters that you're very calm. Whatever the issues you face, you take it very cool and calm. What's the secret behind that? Secret uh, is my mother, you know. My mother was a calm lady and uh, I used to get advice from her. So that's how, I mean, you should not be hasty in any, in any event. So that's how I'm very calm, very, I mean, with, the, with, the, with my employees, I'm very good with them. So we, we mingle together so that I mean, we, we work together so that this hotel is. Mr. Vimal Sundar, when you said that, what came to my mind was that there's a saying, behind every successful man, there's a woman. And that's your mother and your wife and your sisters. Am I right? Yes, certainly. That's wonderful. Yeah. So like Mr. Vimal Sundar said, don't be hasty. Whatever the issues you face, be calm, be cool, understand the issue and solve your problems. And keep smiling, be humble. That's something very important if you want to be a successful personality.